Hi guys, this is Linda, and I wanted to give you a Native American perspective on the 4th of July. Now, first of all, I'd like to say that when the Declaration of Independence was signed, um, it was a bunch of wealthy white men, and I, so I am not white bashing in any way whatsoever, um, but you must remember it was a bunch of, a bunch of wealthy white men that signed that Declaration of Independence. And Native Americans before, during, and after that Declaration of Independence from, and, and the Declaration of Independence was this group of wealthy white men signing their declaration away from a tyrannical government of Great Britain or England because they, they didn't like the tyranny and they were going to set up shop on some other people's land. Um, so during, before, and after, they had already done genocide against the, the, the original peoples, the Native Americans, the Indians. Um, so that day became a holiday or holy day for them. Now remember, on this holy or holiday, um, women had no rights. Poor whites really had not much. I mean, they worked for the man in some respects. Um, some were doing okay. Um, but there were Africans over here as slaves. Um, and the Indians were being killed because they didn't want us on our own land and being rounded up and put into reservations. So Native Americans don't participate very much in the 4th of July. They do sell fireworks because most of them that do are sovereign and they can have nice explosives because they try not to live under a tyrannical regime that says no you can't have fireworks um, uh, so I'm, I'm pausing here because this is my second time doing this I messed up the first time so we now live under a tyrannical government and you're pretty much on the reservation like the Indians you have no rights you, you, you live under a tyrannical regime, um, but you'll go and consume. I call it the 4th of July Consumer Day. They've made it their holy day of another holy day of consumer shopping. Buy the spin thing, buy American flags, cook burgers, drink beer, watch whatever it is on TV, stay outside, shoot fireworks, do this because you're patriotic and you love your tyranny and you love your slavery. Well. And let me go back a little bit. Native Americans were restricted on the reservations from celebrating singing, dancing, any Native American holidays, um, any gift givings. So on the 4th of July, to try to make them white and to fit in, they let them celebrate that day, be, but they had to be patriotic. But the Indians didn't do that, of course. They sang, they danced in their own language. Um, usually they, you know, ignored the flag because that flag didn't belong to them. They never needed flags. Um, and they got back to telling oral traditional stories, which helped keep the Native American language alive. And they were also thankful that they got to live one more year. And I think they were actually given more rations during that celebration, you know, to be patriotic you know if you're sick maybe you got some more medicine I, I but um, some nations have just completely boycotted it because the federal government has said well you're no longer a nation now and you don't fit in anywhere so you've got people now that are just they don't know where they fit in and there's a lot of Native Americans out there that don't know where they fit in so Native Americans do celebrate and they reflect back on that one day that they were allowed to, to they pretend, they, well actually they didn't even pretend. They, they danced, they sang in their own language and they told the stories of like Geronimo and Black Elk and, and Sitting Bull or whoever, you know, was their hero at the time who stood up against the, the, colonists who are trying to you know take the land from them 
So now that you're all on the reservation, and I'm not trying, not trying to offend any men because I don't really know any white wealthy men out there that hangs out on YouTube. Um, you're all on the reservation now, so you can be patriotic if you want, but you know, being patriotic is just being submissive to your slavery and your tyranny. And um, so I would, I'm going to make a few suggestions. Now, this is what I'm going to do, what I do every 4th of July is, um, do I have fireworks? I'm an Indian. Of course I do. Do we shoot them? Sometimes. This year, uh, we got some big booms. I'm sure Kenny will go out and shoot some, and I'll hang out outside. Um, but it's not a big deal to me. Um, if anything, I usually light some sage or some sweet grass and try to think about what my relatives have taught me. Um, but be kind to one another and unite. And let's maybe this 4th of July, don't hang that American flag proudly. That represents a corporation that wants to keep you enslaved so they can vacation and and pass policies and codes that enslave you more. Turn that sucker upside down. Or take it down completely or put it in half staff. Just do something different. Don't consume. Don't buy all the little trinkets with the red, white, and blue on it. Don't buy the cupcakes with red, white, and blue on it or or whatever you do. I, I, I go into a store and I see everything is red, white, and blue. And I think maybe you should think about the whole world. I, I think the whole world's waking up that it's our earth. It doesn't belong to anybody but the citizens on the earth. And I think that we can govern ourselves way better than any of these elites. I'm a grown-up adult. I seem to have managed so far governing my own life pretty good. Now the only thing else I would like to say is I hope everybody does have a safe time and that they put all differences aside, though, with everybody, so we can unite some way and find some peace and find solutions to what's happening. Because it's getting worse. It's even getting bad for Native Americans. I mean, when there's an executive order passed against Native Americans, which Obama has no authority to do because they're sovereign nations, um, there, there's problems. So there's problems on the Indian reservations, just like there's problems. Um, in America, you're all on a big, big, big reservation. You should know that by the police presence in the police state. And, and like Indian reservations have the Bureau of Indian Affairs, you've got all the same agencies just like the Bureau of Indian Affairs. So, and you've got to have your little number, social security number, or a Dallas number, or whatever Indian number if you're an Indian. You're all numbers, you're a number game to them. It's a game they play. Don't participate. Don't be patriotic. If you want to celebrate and do some fireworks and cook some burgers and be with your family, that's a good thing. Tell stories. Tell of how we could all be free as humanity and take the damn flag down. That flag supports that district of criminals in D.C. Turn it upside down. I don't care if you burn it. It's just a piece of cloth that to them makes you think you're patriotic. Don't participate in that patriotism thing because there's nothing patriotic about tyranny. And that's the one thing maybe the Founding Fathers got right. Because tyranny is a bad thing and we are living in tyranny right now. So if we could just not participate in their tyranny, I mean, hey, this may be the only day you get to shoot your little explosives up in the air because next year that'll probably be banned. Even the Indians will probably won't be able to sell them. You may only be able to do them on Indian reservations around here where I live. Um, so I suggest that, you know, shoot, I, I have no problems with fireworks. I wouldn't go participate in some big city show of them. If you can't do your own, then it's just no fun. I don't know. So, um, but anyway, remember, let's try to find solutions to this tyrannical government we have. Just, you know, like the original wealthy founding fathers were trying to do. But let's include everybody. And let's make everyone equal and peace-loving. And maybe balance things out. It's been unbalanced for thousands of years. And we've got to balance it back. And look, I wish you all peace, love, and truth. And it may be a special day for me tomorrow. I'm going to put this as a side note. Because I may be a grandmother tomorrow. 
my son's wife is in labor and it's been a very slow labor so we're hoping that she has the baby tomorrow to make this holiday or holy day which is what holiday means a really special event for me it will be my granddaughter's birthday hopefully keeping my fingers crossed and anyway guys love you remember peace love and truth always and everybody all over the world I love all of you. Peace.